Well, hello there again. It's been a while. Uh, I've been very busy with uh, summer festivals and uh, trying to do lot work for sale. And, but I managed to get my new workspace about in order. So this is the place where I'll be working during the winter doing lot work. And uh, I think I will be doing the tutorials later on also in this room. And also I've received questions about what kind of books do I have. And uh, I thought about showing also my books. It's not a huge library, just a few books I have. I don't have many books. And actually there's only one book that I use. But since you asked, so I thought about showing the, the few books that I, I have about not work. So here are some of my books. That you've been asking. Uh, first of all, selection of nothing matters. Not all of them, but some uh, back issues. CD. And uh, these are fun, fun little books. Uh, uh, this portions. This is about uh, sailmakers' palms. A collection of different kind of sailmakers' palms history. And if you're interested in making your own, there are quite a few templates. Uh, that's that's very nice, nice book. This was kind enough to send it to me. And another. Small book about barley spikes and feeds. That's also fun from this. And of course, the knot lore. Uh, what we have here is, uh, well, that's the first knotting book I ever had when I was a little boy. I got it from my father to, to learn about splicing and, and boating knots and, and, and to know my ropes. So that was the beginning for me. Uh, anyway, this one, Rob Ponens. It's uh, written in, in Finnish and quite a famous knotting book. That's from early 1900s, and many later books they refer to this book. Quite complete for for most practical practical knots and uh, rope handling. Uh, another book that's uh, very famous. Ervals on Knutar. That that's in Swedish, and also quite complete about most practical knots, but also some decorative knots and splices and, and well and everything. Ashley often refers to this book. Uh, what's next? Kai Lunds. That's uh, written in. Danish, a very good book about rope mats. And of course, Ranger's Creative Rope Craft. Many fun projects. Quite a lot of Turks heads, uh, Senates. Decorative not work. Very good, fun, fun little book. And that's just not magic, the magical nuts. Just for fun. And a story about a string that says it all. All about strings and ropes. 
Um, next one is also a book that I got from this and that's uh, what I would call a very good uh, beginners book for for decorative lot work many many fun projects and very well described so that's a very good book and then just for the fun of it an old Spencer's not splices and fancy work from 34 <coughs> that's uh, written before Ashley so we also refers to this book very often all kind of splices nuts well everything the book has made a long long journey to me I see I found this inside the book then just for when doing leather work and decorations so some designs as for inspiration and another Viking and, and designs so if you're into de decoration just for maybe leather work so this this is very good good for inspiration <clears throat> another famous book about Mats Kinnonen that's in, in Finnish and in Swedish but with very good pictures so it's out of print but uh, you may find find it in some 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 uh, store that sells sells used books so if you're into mats and then I must have the Marlin Spike Sailor every knot tire has a Marlin Spike Sailor fun to read uh, yes uh, thick Bible about Decorative Nuts by Lindsay and Lindsay was kind enough to send it to me you find the most most you need in decorative nut work in this book a real thick bible and talking about thick books The whole works. Not a beginner's guide, but very good book for for inspiration. As many senates and frames and uh, well, almost everything. And then the one book that I use myself, Ashley's. These other books are fun to read, but I don't use them very often. <coughs> so, <coughs> so I find almost everything I need from Ashley's. It's not the easy book to, to read from. Uh, but once you get into it, you have everything you need in here almost everything so that's my workbook so to say but that's uh, the books I have I said I don't have a huge library of books but if I get get nice little books I I buy them and 
maybe read once. So uh, that was my workspace and my library of nothing books. Uh, this is also the place where I'll be doing my future tutorial videos. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask. I try to answer them maybe in later videos or maybe I'll do a live show some someday. Uh, but I think that's enough for today. See you next time.